Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and of course we are Monday, June 3rd, 2019. And of course, we're going to answer a few more questions from people that are um, asking on the May 2019 update. So the first question, I got a few people saying, so how is the rollout? Well, the rollout seems to go very well. Like I said, um, it is a version that was tested quite a lot. So the rollout seems to go well. Once again, <clears throat> after the update, there was a cumulative update last week. Well, after that cumulative update, <clears throat> remember that some of you, and I did have some reports of some of you saying, yep, the uh, May 2019 update did show up in the Windows update. But of course, a lot of you are still in the, uh, you know, it's not there yet. Once again, you know, they are fixing things uh, still a little bit. And the way that Windows 10 rolls out is simply done in uh, such a way that basically you get a, um, you know, you don't get the update if there's a, a, bl a blocking bug of some sort on your PC. Plus, it's not being pushed to everyone, even if you're safe. Some people might not see it, actually, uh, because they're just going slowly to make sure that things are going well. So if you don't have it yet, you know, just be patient. It will eventually show up. Of course, a lot of people saying, yeah, it's available. You can download it from the Microsoft website and I've done videos explaining all of that and showing you where to get the image but um, you know I consider that the best action that anyone can take is not to push it if it's not available to you. Um, is the USB bug repaired? Yes the cumulative update of last week did fix the USB bug and the SD card reader bug. They had said they would fix it by the end of May and it was fixed by the end of May. The cumulative update of last week fixed quite a few bugs within the system and of course some of you that didn't see it now see it in the download if you check Windows updates. Once again not everybody is seeing it and it's okay like that it's normal. If you don't see it there's no problem just wait so the update uh, bug for USB and, and SD card is actually fixed in that uh, version of Windows 10 now um, <clears throat> the rollout seems to be going well like I said we're there's not a lot of people the last the numbers we have are from um, G uh, May 27th or something where only 1.4 percent of all of you ha are on the May 2019 update right now so we're really, really a very small amount of people. But what we see is a very positive update. And even among those of you that have uh, forced the install, there's a very, very uh, good um, portion of you. Most of you are saying that the um, even when they pushed the update, it's, it's working really well. So kind of cool. Kind of cool seeing that um, basically I think they're pushing a pretty good version here of Windows 10. Um, another question, a lot of people are asking me what's the size of that uh, update. Well, it's a full Windows install. So when you download, you download basically an image of Windows 10, which is roughly four, uh, uh, just above four gigabytes in size. So if your um, limit um, or monthly, you know, you got a, a bandwidth cap, and you can't, you know, download too many gigabytes per month. Just remember that it's a roughly four gigabyte download. And remember that when it shows up, it doesn't download automatically. So um, when you click the download and install, that's when it will download. Or else it's just showing up. It's just telling you it's available. But it's not downloading and not using any of your data uh, in that uh, phase. Um, we are in June and we did learn that uh, starting this month at some point some of you that are on uh, the April 2018 update will start getting this kind of push to you uh, whether you like it or not and the reason why is because in November the April 2018 update is going to expire so Microsoft will start pushing the May 2019 update to those of you on the April 2018 and once again I get a lot of people that are worried with this. If you are 
on the April 2018 update. You don't need to be on the October 2018 update to get the May 2019 update. Another question. I'm on the April 2018 update. I would like to go to the October 2018 update rather than the May 2019 update. Well, that's the problem. Um, here is when there's a new version of Windows. What happens is that Microsoft removes the availability, availability of the previous version. That means if you go to the download page on the Windows side of things, it's going to offer you only the May 2019 update. I would have been nice if Microsoft would maybe give you at least two versions, two different versions, if you don't want to have the you know, last version, well, we could go to a previous version. That would have been a nice uh, idea. And that's why I always uh, say every time there's a new version, why not download it and create a media, bootable media with it? And if, you know, even if you don't upgrade yet, um, you'll have that. And if they have a new version available, well, you'll be able to use your own bootable media to actually install an older version of Windows 10. I typically often have several versions of Windows 10 for that reason that I download and I keep the images just in case I would need an older version of uh, Windows 10. And uh, so, you know, this is pretty much what's happening with that. And um, you'll probably start having this pushed and for those asking for 19h2 the next version of windows um we have no idea yet it's still not published anything is uh, you know nothing's available uh we have no news there's no insider builds for 19h2 right now we're testing 20h1 so uh, it's kind of an awkward moment where we're not really sure exactly where we're heading but we do know that 19H2 is, is going to happen and there will be another version of Windows 10 later this year. So these are some of the questions and answers. If you have more, of course, I'll update and continue uh, doing my update on the situation of the May 2019 update rollout. A lot of you are enjoying these videos and learning of what's happening and, you know, having the updated news of all of this is uh, for a lot of you is kind of uh, interesting. So I hope that uh, you enjoy my videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.